It is slithering somewhere in a Noblesville neighborhood. That's a big question. And <laughs> Hamilton County Animal Control is asking neighbors to be on the lookout for a missing eight foot long boa constrictor. RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer talked to the pet snake's owner. It was Labor Day. The boa's owner had her outside about where that gray box is to sun. He says he turned his head for just a moment and she was gone. This has become an hourly ritual for Scott Bollinger. I have some neighbors that are pretty freaked out about her and want to keep them safe and make sure they're, they feel at ease. For days, he's been looking for his eight foot Colombian red tail boa constrictor named Rainbow that looks just like this one. I'm worried about her. And I mean, I've had her for five years. She's part of my family. The snake's escape has nervous neighbors constantly driving by, asking the same question we'll if the reptile head. has been found yet. What did he eat? Um, rabbit, squirrel, mice, rats. I think rabbit's probably the biggest thing it's ever eaten. Bullinger says Rainbow had just eaten a huge meal, an entire rabbit, so she shouldn't be hunting for weeks. There's not much of a search. I think finding it anymore will be luck. Uh, they camouflage extremely well. Animal Control Officer Deputy Tom Rogers with the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department says they can only wait now for the cold-blooded critter to come out to sun and for somebody to see it. Everybody looks at it and says, gee, it's a boa constrictor, right? They're from Colombia or South America, and they're native to them. Uh, but are black snakes, rat snakes, corn snakes, uh, all of the non-venomous snakes in the state of Indiana are all constrictors. That's how they kill their prey. Uh, so they're actually no different. And uh, an eight-foot snake is no different than a six-foot rat snake or an eight-foot black snake in the state of Indiana. If you see the boa, the most important thing is don't touch it yourself. Instead, call the Hamilton County non-emergency dispatch line or call 911. Reporting in Noblesville, Tanya Spencer, RTV6. Now, Rogers says you don't have to worry about outrunning the snake since people can walk faster than boas can move. Bollinger says if he does get her back, he will likely take her outside to stretch and sun again, but won't take his eyes off her next time.